Welcome, my name is Scott Dalton. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Naturally Plus USA, and I'm here today with Dr. Garth Nicholson, President and Chief Scientific Officer at the Institute for Molecular Medicine in California. Dr. Nicholson, great to be with you today. It's a pleasure to be with you. Let's talk about hydrogen and the health benefits thereof. So first off, what is hydrogen? Hydrogen is the simplest and most abundant element found in the universe. It is present uh, on Earth as a biatomic form, H2, and it's present in a number of different environments here on Earth. So uh, I understand there's different forms of hydrogen. Well, uh, primarily hydrogen is present uh, as this bimolecular molecule. Uh, it uh, is associated with a number of different environments. So it can be found, for example, in petroleum deposits. It can be found as a free hydrogen gas. Uh, and it can be found complexed uh, in a number of different environments. For example, hydrogen dissolved in water. So what is hydrogen? It's the most abundant element in the universe. It's also the simplest element. It contains one proton and one electron. And that's why we like to show it in a very simplified format. It's a colorless, odorless, tasteless, non-toxic gas found in nature, as I mentioned, as H2. And you find H2 naturally. It's naturally in the soil. It's naturally in small amounts in the water. It's naturally, there's a very minute amount in the air that we breathe. But you can find higher amounts, uh, for example, in oil wells or in deposits at the bottom of the sea uh, that have trapped hydrogen. So it, it is uh, available on uh, our Earth as H2. Uh, so we know it as H2. Turns out it's a powerful antioxidant, but not too powerful. And this was one of the principal findings that was uh, made in Japan by Professor Ota. He did an amazing study where he found that not only was hydrogen an antioxidant, that is, it was able to neutralize oxidative capacity in a cell, and I'll show you what that means in just a moment, but it was not too powerful because there's some very natural oxidants in our cells, which are very important for signaling in the cell and for regulation of gene expression, so regulating our genes and so on. So it's important if we use an antioxidant that it's not too powerful. So it can neutralize or reduce very dangerous oxidants in our cells. And these dangerous oxidants account for a number of different problems, particularly in chronic illnesses. We have an excess of these produced in both acute and chronic illnesses. So it's something that we have to maintain control over in terms of maintaining control over our health. And the important thing, as I mentioned, hydrogen does not interfere with the signaling systems within the cell. So there's some very uh, minor oxidants in the cell that are important in signaling and controlling gene regulation and so on. We don't want to interfere with those because that can cause catastrophic events so Dr. Nicholson, what are some different ways that we can take hydrogen into our bodies and, and which methods would be most advantageous? Well, we can take in hydrogen in a number of different ways. We can take it in as a gas, for example. We can take it in as a saline uh, mix or we can take it in, in as hydrogen enriched water. Now, by far the simplest way to take in hydrogen is with uh, hydrogen enriched water, just by ingesting it, just by drinking. So Dr. Nicholson, one of the big questions I wanted to ask you today is, what are some of the health benefits of hydrogen? Probably the most dramatic health benefit is the fact that hydrogen is a very good antioxidant. So during problems with our health, for example, or during aging, or during other situations, acute and chronic illnesses, uh, we overproduce oxidants in our system. And hydrogen is a very effective way of, of reducing uh, the effects of those oxidants. It's also a very strong uh, anti-inflammatory agent. And so there are a number of different ways that hydrogen can benefit us in terms of our health. Well, the health benefits of hydrogen sound exciting, but is it safe? Oh, it's absolutely safe. You know, one of the exciting properties of hydrogen, particularly in hydrogen-enriched water, is that it is extremely safe. Uh, you know, hydrogen has been used for a long time, many, many years in commercial diving, for example, where divers have been exposed to long periods of time to hydrogen, much higher concentrations than we actually uh, see in, in hydrogen-enriched water. So its safety record is, is absolutely excellent. So hydrogen is extremely safe. You know, and this is one of the things that uh, we can all say about hydrogen, is it is very, 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 very safe. And in fact, uh, before I went to college, uh, I worked as a professional diver. 
And we actually use hydrogen in our gas mixtures for deep diving. And it's been used commercially in uh, deep diving for many, many years, ever since the uh, uh, 1930s. Uh, they've been experimenting with different gas mixtures to prevent uh, decompression sickness or the bends in professional divers who work for long periods of time at great depth. So hydrogen has been put in the mixture with helium and oxygen, mostly not only to delete out the oxygen, but also to provide other properties as well. And so one of the, the more popular mixtures for deep diving is a mixture of hydrogen, helium, and oxygen, removing completely the nitrogen. So uh, obviously it's safe because of the use of hydrogen since the 30s in a high pressure environment. So the partial pressure of hydrogen is, is much, much higher than it is in ambient use. And so if it had any possibility of causing harm, we would have known about it over the years from, from uh, thousands and thousands of professional divers that have used hydrogen in the mixtures of gas. So its, it's safety record is well documented in gas mixtures and there's been no safety issues in all these years. It's extremely safe when used in water, like hydrogen water. And of course, here we have hydrogen water. And has there ever there been a case of a damage of anybody from hydrogen water? No. It's very, very safe. And I think that's another thing that, that you can brag about with hydrogen water. It is completely safe to use, completely safe to consume, and so on. Dr. Nicholson, how did the research into hydrogen begin? Well, research into hydrogen has been ongoing for, for a number of uh, years, but I think the most interesting discovery was made in Japan by Professor Ota in Tokyo, where they actually found that hydrogen was an excellent antioxidant. And, and from those studies on, we and other people have been investigating the role of hydrogen, not only as an antioxidant, but as an anti-inflammatory agent. Inflammation and autoimmunity. Now, one of the things that hydrogen could do is reduce inflammation. And so there are a number of diseases associated with it. I've just listed a few examples here. Inflammatory bowel diseases, inflammatory muscle diseases, arteriosclerosis, for example. Uh, the list goes on and on. But hydrogen could be uh, useful in reducing inflammation. So as a general health property, it can reduce inflammation. And there's some other autoimmune diseases that have uh, inflammation as an aspect of the disease, like rheumatoid arthritis, sarcoidosis, and so on, multiple sclerosis. All these are very debilitating uh, diseases. And what we want to do is help provide healthy cells and tissues. And that's what hydrogen helps to do. In inflammation, for example, one of the things that happens in inflammation is that cells, immune cells that are in the blood of receive signals from a wound site and they respond to those signals and they immigrate out of the invade out of the blood vessel and they normally uh, elicit a response to that wounding environment and they produce what are known as inflammatory cytokines and these inflammatory cytokines are just signals they signal cells and tissues and so on to try and initiate the repair process and try and warn other, other cells that there's something going on here. There's infection, for example, in a wound or other problems associated with the wound. And so one of the things that can happen is this can get out of hand. And this inflammation can cause tremendous problems. So you want to try and control the inflammation uh, as much as possible. And so hydrogen helps in that regard. And here's a, a situation, rheumatoid arthritis, where inflammation of the joints is a major problem. It's not the only problem with rheumatoid arthritis. There are lots of other problems associated with rheumatoid arthritis, but at least the inflammation part of it is helped by uh, using hydrogen. So there's a study here that I'm quoting with 20 patients with rheumatoid arthritis that drank uh, hydrogen-enriched water for 12 weeks, and the hydrogen-enriched water reduced the markers found in the blood for rheumatoid arthritis, reduced the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, it turns out the patients with early uh, RA, early rheumatoid arthritis, actually responded better than the patients that have had arthritis for a long time. Well, that's understandable because there's less damage, permanent damage, in early patients compared to late patients. How would you explain the ability of hydrogen to get into cells? You know, hydrogen has this very natural property where it can dissolve into and move across cell membranes. And of course, cell membranes uh, separate every cell in our body. 
And even the central nervous system, which is separated by the blood-brain barrier, hydrogen can penetrate that. So essentially hydrogen can get into any compartment within our body. And I know this is one of your areas of expertise that you've spent decades. Well, that's it's true. I mean, the cell membranes, for example, is uh, that's uh, one of my uh, important topics that we developed in the early 70s. Uh, but I must say that uh, hydrogen is a very, very interesting molecule in terms of its ability to penetrate not only into cells, but into the organelles inside cells and mm. passing through various membranes. And therefore, it can virtually go everywhere in your, in your body. And I think that's important for its health benefits. So we talk about the uh, hydrogen um, getting through the cell membrane, et cetera, and we, we talk about hydrogen being an antioxidant. I know there's a lot of antioxidants out there. Is hydrogen different? Well, it is, and it can penetrate very easily into every compartment of a cell, and that's not true for most other antioxidants. But uh, there's another property of hydrogen which makes it unique, and that's that it's not an overly strong antioxidant. Um, some antioxidants are so strong that they suppress all oxidants within a cell, and I'm telling you that that is not good because some minor oxidants are very important in terms of cell signaling and gene regulation, and so we don't want to uh, affect those processes in our cells. And so hydrogen doesn't affect those processes. It really goes after the most uh, bad or strongest uh, oxidants in the cell and inhibits those. Now, how does hydrogen get in to side cells? Well, hydrogen has this very unique property that other antioxidants don't have. It can penetrate the cell membrane of a cell. Here's a cell in this green barrier around here is the membrane around the cell and hydrogen penetrates that fairly fairly easily and it gets into all the compartments of the cells. It gets into mitochondria, it gets into the nucleus, it gets into all these compartments of the cell and it does that very easily. And that's a very important feature of hydrogen. So we don't have to invent uh, fancy molecules to help get it in. It just gets in very naturally because of its structure. It will go in uh, places where other antioxidants can't. And a good example of that is the central nervous system, which has a barrier around it called the blood-brain barrier, which prevents a lot of molecules from freely flowing in to our brains. Well, hydrogen can flow in through the blood-brain barrier very easily. So it's a very unique molecule in that respect because there are not too many things that can do that. If you look at tap water, normal tap water in the United States, are there any concerns? Well, of course. Uh, our tap water contain a variety of different chemicals, for example. It contain chlorine and a number of other components. Uh, so there is some concern about it, and I think this is where hydrogen-enriched water could be very helpful. Can you tell us a little bit about the clinical research that's being performed and that will be performed in the near future? I think some of the studies that are being planned, which are studies involving hydrogen-enriched water and its role in anti-aging, and its role in exercise performance, for example, are very exciting, and I look forward to, uh, to doing those studies. You mentioned exercise performance, and that's exciting to a lot of people. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more for us? Well, we're very interested to see if hydrogen water can actually enhance an individual's performance, but also we want to see if it enhances or increases their ability to recover from exercise. And this is very important because recovery involves the repair process of cells and hydrogen-enriched water may actually be very useful in that repair process. And I just want to mention a little bit about uh, hydrogen and exercise and sports medicine. And this is kind of a complicated slide that we have to replace this. It's, it's a little too complicated. But what happens when you over-exercise, for example, and you feel tired and run down, there's an excess of the ROS molecules, reactive oxygen species. Uh, this occurs when you overdo your, your uh, exercising. And also, uh, you have to build up your antioxidant defenses because uh, this is something when you're training, you have to have a high level of the antioxidant defenses. And here's where hydrogen can help you do this. So there's a couple of, uh, this is one of my last slides, a couple of studies that show this. For example, one was a placebo-controlled double-blind trial using healthy male athletes who drank hydrogen-enriched water post-exercise. So they exercise and they drink hydrogen-rich water. And what they found was is that when they did this, uh, they had less problems with cramping. They had less lactate produced. So lactic acid, for example, is one of the things that builds up when you exercise. And the hydrogen actually reduced that. And uh, 
the, because they had lower exercise acidosis, which is a buildup of lactic acid. So they had less oxidative stress, for example, and that's very important. And there was another placebo-controlled trial using injured male athletes who took a hydrogen, in this case, hydrogen tablets. Uh, and what they found was that they had faster return from their injuries if they took hydrogen, for example. So it's actually important in helping repair after injury occurs. You mentioned anti-aging, and that's important to so many people. Can you go into a little more depth on that for us? Well, I think we're going to concentrate on some of the cosmetic benefits of hydrogen-enriched water in terms of um, anti-wrinkle uh, and skin quality. And that's one area that we're very interested in. But there's some other anti-aging effects as well. Uh, and we'll have to go into those in more detail later. Now let's talk a little bit about skin and aging because as we age, we all know that our skin gets damaged. And that's mainly because of the radiation that the, you know, on the skin and, and also the other things that can do that are chemicals that, uh, you know, in the water and everything that you treat your skin with in the air, for example, from smog and other things. So your skin is your outer barrier and it gets uh, really uh, treated very badly environmentally. And so we need to do something about that. And hydrogen water turns out to be very good for protecting the skin, protecting not only against the, the damage of ultraviolet radiation, which can damage it and cause an increase in these bad ROS again, causing all kinds of damage, uh, or uh, in the case of chemicals, uh, can do the same thing. And uh, without going into detail, this is probably a little more detail than necessary, but the important thing is that we have to maintain the antioxidant systems in the skin in order to prevent aging from occurring, uh, particularly premature aging. So if you want to pre prevent uh, aging in the skin, uh, you need to protect the skin from these ROS molecules, and hydrogen water is one way, one way to do that. And I have a, a couple of studies here on hydrogen skin and anti-aging. So using uh, hydrogen in the water, bathing in hydrogen water for 90 days, for example, significantly decreased neck skin wrinkles and it stimulated uh, collagen synthesis in the skin. Well, collagen is the matrix that helps support your skin. And when collagen gets uh, degraded and gets kind of floppy, your skin gets kind of loose and wrinkled. And you want that to be really tense and tight. Uh, and so uh, hydrogen will help do that. And so it will reduce the wrinkles, for example. Uh, drinking hydrogen water shows, the, in, the, in this particular study, a significant decrease in oxidative damage and, uh, uh, and oxidative enzymes that damage. So uh, this is a, an important procedure for anti-aging. I'm just about done. So uh, I'm not going to go through radio protection. I just kind of mentioned that. But age subjects, for example, that are treated. Oh, uh, subjects that are that are treated with uh, hydrogen water, for example, show reduction in skin inflammation and an increase in the synthesis of these collagen molecules. So it's very beneficial. We're really excited about these studies that you're doing. Where do you get the hydrogen enriched water that you're using in the studies? Our hydrogen enriched water comes from Japan. Uh, they're the only manufacturers of hydrogen enriched water that are suitable for our studies. Dr. Nicholson, it's been great to spend a few minutes with you here today. Thank you for your vast knowledge of hydrogen and sharing a portion of that with us. Um, it's exciting to find out what's going on, and we look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me as your guest today. You bet.